What was it like coming from your junior college to ASU? Um, the transition between coming from junior college all the way to ASU, I mean, is big because, I mean, coming from a smaller school like that where, I mean, there's not that many people and uh, it's really, it was really a big change for me just coming and being around all these people and just having like a little bit tougher classes, but I mean, my junior college really prepared me for for coming here. Just be how how CSI works, how the Southern Idaho works. They get their guys ready, like basketball wise and class wise. So when we do come here, it's we have an easier transition. So I mean, so far, I mean, it's been a little rough. I have my ups and downs, but I mean, so far, I mean, I'm adapting to it well. So it, it feels pretty good. How is your team and yourself affected by you being sick? You know, I mean. My team as a whole, by me being absent, I mean that I don't feel like it affected my affected my team a lot. I mean, I feel like we everybody stepped up and everybody has different jobs. I mean, so I mean with me being absent, I don't feel like we were missing anything. I mean, just another I'm just another cheerleader just at that. So I mean, I uh, I all I gotta do now is just get healthy. I'm still trying to fight back from my sickness and trying to get my rhythm back going. And it, it's been tough. It's been tough. Just coming back, playing Washington, and coming here, and then playing USC and UCLA, and not getting these limited minutes, but I'm trying to work my way back, and I mean, I'm not really trying to force anything, just like in the, like in the beginning when I said during early in the season, I know it's all just going to work out back to how it was, and things are just going to start just grooving for us, so I'm excited. How did the loss at Washington affect you? I mean, it affected me just like any loss. I mean, any player, they're not going to any team they're on, they're gonna, they're not gonna like losing. I mean, it, it, it was something that hurt really bad. And then the fact that I just couldn't participate in, in that game, it just, it's kind of hurt. Who was your biggest basketball role model? Um, growing up, I mean, my biggest, uh, my biggest fan. I didn't really have a biggest, my, a biggest uh, player that I, that I liked. I mean, I didn't really like play, playing basketball when I was growing up. I started playing in uh, ninth grade, so I mean. <laughs> It's, I had a, a short time, I have, I'm having a short time right now with the, this is sport, I mean, it's growing on me, but I really didn't play basketball when I was younger, so I mean, I kind of kind of skateboarded, so I really didn't have like a basketball player to follow after and to try to imitate and play like in the park and stuff, but I guess during high school when I actually really got into basketball, I would say, I mean, I started to, to watch players like LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and just all that I mean the great players now and just kind of go off them and just seeing their worth ethic. If you were to choose a starting five lineup for ASU, who would it be and why? If I can choose a starting five, I mean, honestly, if I can choose a starting five, my whole team would be on the court, but I know that's not possible. So uh, if I can choose a starting five, you know what? I'm going to leave that unknown because, I mean, everybody, everybody on my team they are good players and there's some players who work better coming off the bench, and there's some players who are energy players and have to play right away. So I mean, I can't I can't really give you like a starting five, but I can give I can I can say that each and everybody on the team, if not more, deserves to be in any position or any spot on the court or any, at any time. So I mean, we just have a really good team. We're we have a great depth, great depth. So I mean, that's. That's pretty much that.